What is up, guys? Spartan85 here. Welcome to the High Rise, a survival kind of style game set in a skyscraper. It is available on Steam for $7.99, so just 8 bucks. There also is a free demo to play if you want to play. We are playing the demo today. Uh, check it out. We got a helicopter over here. A whole bunch. You can kind of see the city. Pretty cool. So. But yeah, survival style game, there's hunger, there's energy, there's water, uh, there's food poisoning, gotta worry about those, there's some crafting going on and stuff like that. But we're gonna check out just kind of the demo and see what we think, and if you guys want to see the actual fur version of the game, then we'll go get it. Uh, there's kind of little things you can read around here, like food poisoning, talks about food poisoning, talks about stamina. Uh, here's the crafting menu here, we start off with a axe, a crowbar, and a battery. We can craft the workbench, we can craft some bandages, we can craft Molotov and a stink bottle, which I'm uh, a mixture made by blending several odious. The underground monsters show a strong interest in the material set, so that draws the monsters over. And there is monsters in the game, so um, they're called sniffers is what they're called. So here's some food here we can grab just to have. I'm going to grab everything out of here because I want to take this desk apart. Uh, you gain a message from Geb. I don't know where to read that. I don't really know where that shows up. So we use the crowbar to get the metal. So we're going to hack this uh, desk apart here. That gives us some metal pipes. It's a little bit of harvesting there. This is a distillery and here is a portable stove. So we can use to cook and stuff. You can't really do much with the trash. There's some stuff over here, and then here's another desk we can yank apart. Search it first, of course. I don't know that the stuff will spawn on the ground if you destroy it. I really don't know, but um, yeah, we'll hack this apart. We need the metal pipes for uh, the workbench if we want to craft that. Okay, we've got a, something over here. So we can re we can retrieve this wood that gives us the barricade, so we can install it back. Look out the axe! Oh, hello! Kind of interesting looking, aren't they? There's the helicopter crashing. The dude runs away. Oh, there he is, right down there. See him? But he's hanging out down there. Uh, falling hazard, okay. So, but if you make a bunch of noise, he will come up here. And I pretty much almost guarantee he will be up here in a minute, because I'm going to start making some noise. Uh, sniffer, after living underground for a long time, the fearsome monster Sniffers has developed a sense of smell and hearing. They have a keen sense of direction and will track players' noises and body odors. So you got to be careful about that. So let's, uh, we can't take that apart. Oh, can we? Oh, yeah, we get some wood out of this, so we'll hack this apart. Everything makes noise, so they will come visit. Over here is some cloth. So it actually says fiber, but it drops cloth. Cloth scrap. So we'll hack this apart. That sniffer's still down there? Where is he? See, now I don't see him. That's what's more scary, I guess. You can craft guns. Uh, you need uh, there's explosive powder. I think you gotta find or something like that. So uh, I haven't got really that far into the game yet. I kind of just loaded it up to try figure out the controls like I usually do, and uh, figured I'd explore the game with you guys. There you go. What else do we need for the workbench? I'd like to craft a bandage too, and I need a gloss. Gla glass bottle for that. We should be able to find one pretty soon. This we need uh, some lumber. We already have the pipes and the... So we just need some lumber, basically. Let's grab some more lumber. We should be able to craft the workbench. Now, I don't know where the best place to build your base is, because you can pick up the distillery and the stove and move it. If you want. So we need three more lumber. So... Uh, so you can move your base, and eventually maybe you do want to move your base. I don't know if this is the best place. I'm assuming there is a... Once you harvest all these materials, you're going to have to venture out further to get more stuff. So let's go craft the 
workbench real fast to get that done. You see there's a stamina at the bottom left. You're, I'm depleting my stamina. So right here, here's the workbench. Let's get that crafted. You just go over here and install it. Whoop, wrong button. There we go. So now the workbench we can craft. This is we can craft from our hotbar survival tools. We can craft a, a handmade axe, which looks a lot of fun, and a handmade awl, and all that was handcrafted from parts of furniture. It is useful in destroying metal and plastic. So that's like a pickaxe. Okay, so we can craft those. We'll probably need to because I'm assuming this axe will go away. There's the gun. All this stuff is locked. I think we got to find the blueprints to all this stuff. This is the wheel storage. That's how you save the game. Uh, bathtub, portable stove, distillery, planter, mattress. There's the storage, which I'd like to craft that pretty soon. We need a piece of plastic for that. Flame barrel and whiteboard. Um, yeah, and everything you do causes um, food poisoning. Basically everything you do. I mean, so if you go down here, this is the player's stench. My stench is 6.7. It's going to go... Um, higher, so they'll be able to smell me better. Um, let me see what else. Where is the... That's the stamina. This is the player's hydration. Uh, battery. Oh, here's the food poisoning. Okay. When it reaches a maximum level, you will vomit and lose stamina and health. So you have to be careful about that. But So the bath still will be a good thing to make, eventually. I bet. There's the flashlight. Okay, well, let's craft. Let's just keep looting, actually. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, yeah. There is a dead rat. Okay, so this is different. Then I just looted the game earlier, and I didn't have a dead rat in there. So loot is random. It, I was didn't know if loot was going to be different. There's a safe here. We have a uh, bottle of water and some food. And then we want to retrieve that safe. We'll use that for a recipe later. There is a note here. Yeah. Wheel storage is telling you that you need wheel storage to save the game. And there is another storage box here. Yeah. And squid, yummy! And a portable gas burner. Okay, and can you scrap can you scrap stuff? I don't know. Let me get my rusty crowbar out. Take this apart. Now, I, the first time I played this, I was fighting guys right off the bat, but I don't have anybody visiting me right now. Just kind of interesting. Did I? They flew all the way over here, didn't they? I'm not sure why I don't have any visitors right now. This is uh, plastic. Oh, yeah, we need plastic, don't we? We probably need... This is working on the plastic. Um, my stamina. Oh, I'm exhausted. I build up my stamina a little bit. There we go. And I need to drink some water. That's going to help out the stamina. So let's go in. Is that the... Oh, that's dirty water. We don't want to drink that. Let's drink the clean water. We have, what? I don't know. Three of them. So that helps the stamina out a little bit. And then let's go craft a storage box. Oh, do we have enough to craft it? Go see if we have enough to craft a storage box. We need a little bit of plastic. Go over here, and it is down here. We need... Oh, we need five more pieces of plastic. Wow. Okay. Nice. Okay, well, let's do some little more exploring, then. Running is not the best option. That really uses up your... Can you take this apart? Not really, no. Alright, well, we let's go to this stairwell over here. Try not to run too much. So if you go up, there's nothing here. It's blocked. And then if you go here, it says... Oh, safety rules. Open things silently. Walk as quietly as possible. Keep your mouth shut. Well, that's not very good for me, so let's open this. Climb into the vent. We have this here we can drop down into. 
Got some plastic here. We need, what, five more pieces of plastic? And then this is kind of cool how this works. Uh, am I still cr Okay, I don't want to crouch. So you got to... So you take it and you got to... Whoop, I didn't mean... You click E until it gets to the green zone, then you right mouse it. And that grabs you some gas. Um, it hasn't filled up enough, so we can't take any more, but we have some fuel now. We have a little table over here. The water? Showing up there, I guess. But this is a really interesting take on the survival genre. You're in a high rise. You're not outside where you... Oh, there's a glass bottle. We need that for a bandage and pack of milk. But, you know, normally you're outside and you're able to just grab whatever you want. You can grow things, but you're trapped inside of a building. So it's uh, like I said, a little different take on the survival genre. You're trying to live indoors. Grab all these pipes. I should be able to craft a bandage now, right? Oh, I need a little bit of cloth. Okay, we'll find some cloth. Is that a... That's not a note up there. Okay. Um, I should have done a slow open. Anybody here? Hello? Let's want some cloth. Ah, oh, so quiet. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Um, let me get in here. They're coming. Let's see if he finds me. Um, I think he found me. I don't know. He's looking for me, so he went to where the sound was. That's pretty cool. So he went to where the sound was. And then he looked for me. Oh, crap. That's pretty cool. What do you, he broke this glass out. Oh, okay. I like, I like that. I like that. It's not just like zombie see and chase you forever. Okay, I like I like that a lot actually. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I want to read it. Stimulus. The monster will pursue stimuli for the from the players, such as the player's cough, running footsteps, or the sound of stepping or broken plate. However, you can entice the monster away from the by throwing a glass bottle or breaking a window. Oh. Cool. There's nothing in this one. All. Oh. oh, here we go. Got some tape. This is a bathroom over here, I think. Oh, some water. You can, I guess, drink from the toilets, maybe? Ugh. Dirty water. Let's, uh, let's take it, I guess. What is that? How does that work? Does it use my glass bottle? No, it doesn't. It just gives you dirty water. You just basically pick up dirty water. Interesting. Okay. I guess if you screw up, screw that up, it makes a probably a loud. Oh crap! Okay, we're hiding in here. Oh, he's looking. Oh man. All right, I think we're clear. Oh, he's right there. He kind of walks away. All right, I think we're I think we're clear now. What do we got? Some another burner. I'm guessing we can scrap those burners, maybe, or maybe they're one-time use or something like that. Maybe that's what they are. They're one-time use. I 
guess if we start at the bottom, be a little better. Oh, zip tie. Can we zip tie somebody up? <laughs> zip tie one of the monsters up? I'm sure he'll appreciate that. I'd like to find some cloth. And go back upstairs and grab it, probably. Is this cloth? Like a well, it's a little another little tent. Oh crap. Well, here's another safe. We have a kettle and a pot. Alright. Let's grab the uh it can be used as a material for distillery. We already have a distillery. And it can be used as a kitchen counter material. Let's oh, I didn't mean it. What did I just do? I have no idea. Let's take that. Uh, let's go ahead and are we good on how are we doing on food? Let's eat some food. Eating the heated canned tuna. There we go. That restores your stamina pretty pretty far. Can I eat some more? Let's eat some regular canned tuna. Hydration and max stamina plus twenty. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's turn on our flashlight now. More tape. Another glass bottle. Ooh, a firecracker. We need that for the gun. Cool. Okay. Well, it's officially nighttime now. Here's our plastic that we need. Am I using... Or not plastic. That's our uh, cloth that we need. Okay, so let's craft a bandage. I've been trying to work on work on this for a while now. There we go. Have a bandage that restores your health, so we can maybe go into battle now. And then we can make a Molotov. We just need a little more cloth. Any cloth around here? No, no cloth. Uh, I'd like to grab this plastic. Let's grab this plastic. Uh, but yeah, Molotovs would be good to have for these guys. I bet. Plastic. Are they tougher at night? I really don't know. Uh, oh, is that another note? Did I, I already read that one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, Mr. Sniffer. There's another room over here. Oh, shh, Nikes. He's coming. Oh, we might be fighting now, boys. Well, now's a good time to die. Let's go. Ow, this guy's rough. Oh, I'm exhausted. Crap. I might die. Okay, now he runs away. Oh, he's bleeding. You see that? He's bleeding. Okay, let's use a bandage. I just mainly wanted to try out the combat. Let's use the bandage. That restored some health, not all of it. Um... I need to drink some water, so let's drink this. Then... Oh, it, it takes away your food poisoning. The water, the clean water takes away food poisoning. That's nice to know. Okay, so we can get more water out of here. Let's do that. Go. Oh, crap. You know what? He's got to be almost dead. Let's go. 
So he was bleeding out, wasn't he? Oh, I got him! Nice! Uh, you can pick up sticky meat. Yummy. I really need another bandage now. Um, you don't, I don't think you really regenerate health. I think you have to use bandages, I think. Wait, I kind of, crap. Is there another one? That's the, uh, that's the enemies. I'm assuming there's more. I mean, I don't know. I've only seen the one so far. So, oh, that. So I really don't know if there's, like, in the demo portion of it. I'm sure there's more. I mean, this is a big, this is a big, as far as I know, this is a pretty big building. Like, it goes on pretty far. So, let's, tr let's go over here. Is there any more plastic I can grab? Or not plastic, cloth? Yeah, let's grab some more cloth. And there's one over here. I can't tell if my... I'm going to watch my health. I don't know if it's regenerating or not. really don't know. Okay, can I make another bandage now? I can. Oh, your bag is full. Crap. Well, let's see if we can... I don't think I got enough plastic, did I? I didn't harvest any of the plastic. May have to go look for some uh, plastic so I can make that storage... storage box. Oh, I do. I do have enough. Okay. Your bag is full. Okay, so we're going to have to do something. I have four of those. Let's find something to eat. Sticky meat. That'll probably kill me. Yeah, that'll that'll definitely kill me. Let's um see what we can eat. Uh, pack of milk. Let's do the pack of milk. Uh, food poisoning plus seventy. No way. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, that was a bad idea. All right. Um, that's not good. Oh, it's going back down, though. It's going back down. Okay. Well, no, it's going up. It's going back to... Yeah, it's going to 70. Oh. Well, that wasn't very smart. That was a bad idea on my part. Don't do that, guys. I didn't read, I didn't read that, so... Uh, whatever. Okay, let's put down some storage. We'll put it right... Yeah. Not very big, is it? Yeah. Yeah, not... Uh... Huh. How do you... Is there a way to... Transfer inventory? I don't... I'm trying everything. That equips it. Huh. I don't see a way to, like, you can double click it. That equips it. Yeah, there's no way, I guess, to transfer inventory. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, that's dirty water. There's a safe. We'll put that over there. I can't put it over there. And squid these burners keep the plastic put the dead rat in there that's freaking gross <laughs> wooden door we'll put that up I don't know that do they come in a, like attack kind of like seven days to die or something like that hey it's daytime yay we did it okay so here's the distillery oh I just picked it up I didn't mean to do that Where's the distillery? Huh. I picked it up and I put it in my... Oh, it's right here. Let's put that back. Aha! Look at that. Dirty water. So it just automatically does it for you. Did it take the dirty water out of my... Ah! Huh. And I don't have to stay by it, huh? I just stay here? 
I'm cooking the canned tuna. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, it just automatically does it. I like that. Maybe. I could see that being a problem. So it's cooking dirty water and it's cooking canned tuna. Okay, cool. And let's go ahead and make another bandage. Let's use it. Looks like I did spawn in with some bandages. Uh, maybe I didn't. No, that's four. That's number four. I did not spawn, spawn in with any bandages. Okay, I made that up. All right. Well, what can we craft now? Let's see. I'd like to craft this gun, maybe. What else do I need? I need tape and lumber. First in the series, improvised gun. Improvised firearms cannot be reloaded. It has more obstructive power than it looks. So is it just like... Just shoots one firecracker, maybe? What about the Molotov? I need a glass bottle. Okay, well, let's go see what we can find. Let's do, let's do a little more exploring, maybe. All right, well, I came back to this tent. We got a another firecracker. Okay, we got a little cabinet there. What was that? Is that me? See, I'm making a butt ton of noise, and there's nobody getting spawned in. So I don't know if there's just one on this level, maybe? Only one dude. I don't know if there's other types of enemies. I have no idea. Okay, let's go to this stairwell here. I think there's another vent. Or we can go down this level. Okay. Hello? Another tent's right there. We have some plastic over here. Definitely will grab the, grab the plastic. Hopefully you can make better tools that harvest faster. Hopefully that becomes a thing. I don't know. It's uh, some cloth. Grab that. Let's go. Is this blocked off over here? Oh, crap. My scent might be too strong, to be honest. Ooh, boy. He's looking. So there is another one. God, he can't smell me. My scent's only about, like, 25%. So, okay, he's leaving. Yeah, get out of here. I need to stop running. And corn. All right. Actually, let's uh, let's just eat that. Actually, that might be a good one to cook, though. Maybe. Let's eat the heated can of soup. Let's do that. It's already heated. Yummy. This definitely isn't a game that you want to keep sprinting. Like I'm doing. I'm just used to, I guess, seven days to die, you just sprint, you know, everywhere. And arc and stuff. You just sprint everywhere. This isn't the game for that. What do we get up there? Jump? Ah. Huh. How do we get up there? You have to go around, maybe? Around the outside? Whoa! Yeah, we go around the outside, I see. Okay. Need to be careful with this axe. I'm getting pretty low on uh, on it, and I need to be able to craft another one. This is kind of like the starter axe. So I'll leave that one alone. Uh, can of soup. Cool. All right, we'll take it. Is that where we were just... Yeah, that's where we were, up on that level. There is our base. Our base is up on that level. We have some wood here. There is... Okay. Another tent down there. Dead rat. I don't know what we're supposed to do with that. I don't, I don't know. 
We're looking for tape, right? Is that what we're looking for, I think? What's this? Pack of milk. That thing about killed me last time. In fact, let's drink uh, a water. Clean water. That'll take some of my food poisoning down. Down to 60. We also need to think about making the bathtub. We can get rid of our stink. Our stink's only going to get worse. That's how they're going to find us. Nothing. I thought that was a safe, maybe. Oh, another glass bottle. We can make another bandage with that. Or a Molotov. Peanut butter. Yummy. Do the uh, monsters like peanut butter? Maybe? I don't know. I can make a Molotov now. Let's make it. Okay. Cool. And there are multiple characters you can choose from uh, when you load the game. You can choose... I chose this, the main girl. She has a couple different perks to use. What is this? Fiber? Okay. But there's also a guy that has his own perks. Stench. The invisible impurities. Uh, yeah, stench gate. Okay, we got that. We know that our stench gate is... We got to keep an eye on, but yeah, there, and there's other characters that are outside the demo. Cloth scrap. Oh, I like that. You can just find it. Uh, so yeah, if you do purchase the game or have the full game, then you can. Uh, there's other things that other other characters you can load in with. So. Ooh, that was loud. Potato chips. Okay. The buildings falling in on each other. Portable gas burner and another firecracker. Here is the showers. What kind of building is this? Now, what kind of building is this? Oh, uh, the pipe back up causing a stinky odor. Oh, did that, did that hurt my odor? Oh, yeah, it really screwed it up. Oh, that one did it too. Well, now I'm 100% basically. Oh, that means I'm gonna start puking. Those are kind of those are a little harder to manage. Well, I might be able to run up and grab some clean water, maybe. Yeah, I know I'm vomiting. This is this is great. Oh, gross! Did I just pick up my own vomit? Oh god. Jesus. This is probably where I die. Oh I just I just puked. Oh, this is not good, guys. This is probably where I die. Oh, oh no! Yes! I survived two days! Sniffer ripped me into pieces. Oh Well this game is fun, guys. This game is really cool. Uh, as you can see, there's my other... It, it, all right, now the demo just has sandbox mode, so don't do what I did and screw up the water collection where you get uh, infected and you have to vomit, but this game's cool. I like it. I, I'll let you guys decide. Do you guys want to see the full version? I'll, I'll definitely reach out to the dev and ask for a copy, or I'll just buy the dang thing if you guys want to see the full version of the game. Um, if not, check it out for yourselves, and uh, that's it, guys. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll check... I'll catch you guys in the next uh, video. See ya.